C++ classes and objects. The main purpose of C++ programming is to add object orientation to the C programming language and classes are the central feature of C++ that supports object oriented programming and are often called user defined types. So, C is there, C++ means better C. So, which what, what is the betterment here in C++? That is in C++ we can do the object oriented programming and to do this object oriented programming we are supposed to define classes. So, class is the very key feature of object oriented programming. A class is used to specify the forms of an object and it combines data representation and methods for manipulating that data into one neat package. The data and functions within a class are called members of the class. A class consists of certain data members and they can also be called as member variables and can also be called as messages. What are the permitted operations that could be carried out on that set of data will be determined will be defined in the class member functions. This class member functions can also be called as methods. So, a class consists of messages and methods. So, here is the diagram for us here we have defined one class the name of the class is car and it is having three data members. So, first one is the model. Next one is the year of manufacturing, next one is the color. I could have added some other data members to this class car, but according to my requirement we have included only these three and these are the member functions. So, they are the start, accelerate and stop. So, these are the respective member functions defined in this particular class name as the car and this is an object of this respective class car. So, object can also be called as an instance of a class is known as an object. So, it object consists of data members and member functions. When you define a class, you define a blueprint for a data type. This does not actually define any data, but it does define that the class name means that is what an object of the class will consist of and what operations can be performed on such an object. Class naming must be done very carefully because from the very class name the corresponding object creator the person who will be going to create some objects against those classes should get the idea that what is the purpose of the class. So, the class name should be purposeful. And within the class, we are going to define our member variables and member functions as requirement. A class definition starts with the keyword class followed by the class name and the class body and the class body should be enclosed by a pair of curly braces or second brackets. A class definition must be followed either by a semicolon or a list of declarations containing methods and messages. For example, if we define a class say box data type using the keyword class as follow. So, the keyword class should be used before the class name. So, here is the keyword class and the name of the class is box and here we have defined the respective class body within enclosed within curly braces. So, under the public section we have defined this double length, double breadth and double height. So, these are the member variables. The keyword public determines the access attributes of the members of the class that follow it. A public member can be accessed from outside of the class anywhere within the scope of the respective class object. You can also specify the members of a class as private or protected which we will be discussing in our next sections. So, here you can find that this is under the scope under the scope that is public that means these members are accessible from outside of the class where the object against this class is having its scope. So, under this particular public declaration we are having this set of member variables also known as messages defined under the class 
box here. So, in this way, in this particular session, we have discussed what is a class and how to define a class and about the other features of classes, please watch the next videos for the better understanding. Thanks for watching this one.